All right, hi people, this is the Indigo Experiment, and if things go as planned, this is probably gonna be a weekend update. Okay, well this is because, I mean, I haven't updated in so long, it's been four months, it's been an entire semester of just busy, 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 busy. And also being kind, I don't know, I just, I, it's also been kind of emotionally rocky to tell you the truth. And that's not really an excuse, I know. But, I, I mean... Uh, look, I, I really was under a lot of stress last semester. I just... Okay, hi. Well, anyway, I just think it's fair to, um, you know, give you a couple of weekend updates. Get us back on schedule. But, you know... Thankfully, next semester is going to be much more easily paced. I don't even have any, well, any classes earlier than 10 a.m. So, that's going... <sighs> It's gonna be a lot better. So, yeah, repeating, um, I'm pretty sure we already knew this. Okay, so I have no idea what to say here because, well, yeah, anyway, this, the mermaid coin. This can be used to travel very quickly. <sighs> they become obsolete later on, but for now, Wow. What is it? For now, you can... Well, it's... Very, um... Okay. If I could just talk for two seconds. Oh, it's Augie Doggy. Hi. Hi, Augie. Okay, yeah, I should probably just stop saying things for the moment. Let's just use this, because really there's no other time to use it. I get, yes, these will become obsolete later on, but for now, this will be very helpful in quickly traveling to... Not... To the Agatha Forest. Our next dog is supposed to be around here, you might remember. We are, as you may have noticed, near the top. And, well, look who is here. It's Kushi. Yep. She is... well, she's about to tell us. She is going to, well, get the water here for alcohol, basically. <sighs> yep, sacred drink of legend. We've probably gone over this already. But yes, they got the beast drunk and cut off its head. This is the actual legend. But, yeah. Wow, I mean, I have nothing to say right now because, again, this scene kind of speaks for itself and I don't have much going on in my life right now, so I guess the few people who are, are watching, how are you doing? I mean, well, it's only polite, I guess. Oh, did I forget something? Eh, it doesn't matter. So, uh, it's gone full screen again. Okay, everything seems to be working. God, this thing's- that's annoying, really. Hmm. Okay, I'm still listening. Oh, and it even just gives you the camera angle there as a clue bat. Okay. I mean, I knew what I was supposed to do, I just wasn't sure if there was something else I had to do first. Anyway, yes, yeah, so this basically means that you have to have water, you have to do Sasa Sanctuary before you do this. You know, well, you don't have to have it done, but um, you have to at least go up to the, um... Well, you have to pass... Well, get, um, Chun, which means you have to get the, um, you know, kill the Tengu. Which is something that I'm going to keep... Well, just keep that in mind for a moment. And that's a phone call, ignore it. It's not happening. You hear nothing but the... But my soothing, sore-throated voice. <clears throat> in any case, these things, which are... Well, so easy for us as a god to kill are sincerely terrifying for Kushi because she's just a, well, a human. She's a mere mortal and not a very physically strong one at that. Nor a spiritually strong one, which would help. In this case. But... 
Deus Ex Machina, I guess. Honestly, I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't know if this counts as Deus Ex Machina, um, ex Deus Ex Machina, excuse me. But it's just so hilarious and amazing that I don't really care. So guess what time it is? Well, it's not exactly that time yet. See, this makes me think that, well, Susano really is courageous. Because, again, it's not about um, not being scared. He's terrified right now. But, you know, he is actually trying to protect her. He's, you know, it's not just pride. Although that is probably a big part of it. He's actually trying to help the woman he loves. You know, from the village that he grew up in. It's, you know, he's he has the potential to be a hero. So basically, yes. It is time to make Susano not look like an idiot again. In other words, holding him cheat. Note that one power slash again would not hurt all of these guys. Like, would not kill all these guys um, normally, which means that Susano is contributing a good deal to this. Boom. I can't believe I did that with this awkwardly placed sensor bar. So, oh come on, no, I don't want some credit. Okay, yeah, honestly, well, I mean, probably just doesn't care, but you know, he just wants Isu to shut up, or she just wants Isu to shut up. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, I just realized his necklace is just a texture on his neck, and the bead is separate. Hmm. Looks like he's catching up. That battle with the bear, that was not a battle. The thing was asleep. And bipedal. On a thing. <sighs> I'm not. You're just being an idiot and I have to bail you out every time. You're welcome. Well, too bad. Also, um, given Japanese culture, calling- well, whatever it was translated as the Magnificent Isun, I'm guessing, you know, giving himself a high-profile honorific, maybe not Sama, but something of that level. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that would be considered very stuck up and rude, you know, more so than by Western standards. Again, I'm not sure on the specifics, but... Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna lie down and screw everything. Okay, I don't know. I should prove it. Alright, um, good luck with that. Also, since I was talking, I didn't hear what just happened, but Ami just flopped her ears and... Honestly, just the, I, I never really commented on the paper cutouts of trees because that's a that's a um game limitation thing. So it does, but it does look kind of funny. Yep, there is a canine warrior nearby as well. We may have su su uh, suspected. Saying words is fun. Let's see, did I get the thing back here? I can't remember. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm guessing I got the thing on top of there, too. If I didn't, then I guess I'll just, um, retry it or something. Huh, I never really noticed this music before. I, I don't know if it only plays here or what. But it's pretty good. I, I, have, to, I have to admit. So let's just follow the canine track. Oh! Okay, let's waste our time here first. Popping this thing open for an infinity stone. Which we're going to save and never use until I want to use it, which I actually know when I want to use it. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. It's not called a miracle for nothing. 
Well, wait, is it called the mirror pool? I don't, I don't remember. It should be called the mirror pool, though. Oh, no, it's like, it's like the deep abyss, I don't know. Black abyss, I don't know. And then that happened. What's who they doing? Just kind of sit- I don't know. <sighs> don't you have more line? Like, didn't you learn to- I don't know, I'm just gonna stop trying to do things right now because talking- So anyway, he's fishing and the line snapped, which means... <laughs> It is time for another fishing minigame. That is what you wanted to hear, isn't it? I don't know. It's, I'd say it's a waste of my time, but this is, again, one of the better, if not the best fishing minigames I've ever seen. Much better than Twilight Princess one. <clears throat> you know, most of them are just kind of um, wait for a fish to bite and then yank. This one, well, it cuts out the waiting, first of all. Waiting is generally a bad thing, you know, in games. And it also makes, you know, it gives you some technique in the fishing. Well, that's just me. It, it is just me. You know. Sadly, there is no way to tell which fish is which until you've already gotten it on your line. That didn't, that didn't do a thing. Well, I guess it did do a thing, it's just not what I wanted it to do. Okay, yes. I really need to move the thing. Gobi. Did I get a Gobi yet? I don't know, and it doesn't really matter. So as per usual, the third bit of a minigame, or a fishing minigame, the only thing available is the gold. This one, however, is quite a bit harder than the giant salmon. Because, well, first off, your stamina meter fills much faster. Secondly, it is slightly more unpredictable. Thirdly, I'm pretty sure it takes more slashes. Yeah, it takes two slashes. I think this salmon took one, but it's been a really long time. <sighs> oh, I forgot to feed Dake! Oh, well, I'll have to go back and do it later. Maybe when I'm just finishing up the animal, um, journal. <laughs> Look at it. I, I know that it's supposed to be, like, wet and dripping, but I like to think it's sweating. It looks like it. It was me. I did it. It, it was me. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I actually do completely sympathize with you. <sighs> Isun! Isun! No, 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 no! Okay, now I'm freaking furious. No, his dog just died! His dog just died! You're disgusting! You- you are being disgusting right now. His- probably his best friend just died. <sighs> Science. Okay, I'm not giving you any legitimate answers because I don't care. I'm not doing this. You cruel- Ugh. Okay, here's a new constellation. Looks like a crooked domino, except no, it is in fact a rabbit holding a mochi hammer. Mochi is a Japanese, um, well, that worked. Is a Japanese, um, dessert and, like, kind of a pounded rice cake thing. <laughs> and here, you will see this bunny and Ami making some. Yeah, we have to pound it, knead it. You know, pretty standard stuff. So you have the goddess of the sun and the god of the moon. Well, I guess I kind of spoiled it, but that's what he is. I thought it would be- well, I guess it would be obvious with the, um, 
reflection of the moon and the Whopper eating it and everything. I also love how it's called the Whopper. It, there are too many easy jokes to make there. So, Yumi got me. Now, there is, uh, Yumi actually means bow, not moon or anything like it. That would be Tsuki. Um, so Yumigami, well, I, I'm guessing that bow refers to the shape of the crescent moon. Now, the actual god of the moon in, um, well, in Japanese, well, in Shinto, is, and you might not recognize this name, Tsukuyomi. Yes, the name of the sword. Tsukuyomi is a sword. I don't know why. I've probably gone over this before because it is a pretty massive violation of, um, <coughs> of cough, of, um, well, um, that stuff. And, well, honestly, well, it's kind of a bad thing to do just to, just to keep the whole, um, Gami, like, name pattern intact. <sighs> and even then, well, I mean, Ami, I don't think Ami's ever been, um, well, I don't think Amaterasu Omikami has ever been, um, displayed or, well, <sighs> characterized as a wolf in actual mythology. Uh, okay, I thought that didn't work, but it did. So why not just make Tsukuyomi the rabbit? It does actually make sense, too. While in Western um, culture, we generally see a man on the moon. In Japanese, um, and well, Eastern culture in general, but I'm actually I'm not sure if it's specifically Japanese or just, um, you know, East Asian stuff. <clears throat> what is seen is generally a rabbit making mochi cakes. Which is exactly what, um, what's well, exactly what the god of the moon is here. So, yeah, I really don't see why they didn't just name Tsukuyomi. It would break the pattern, but the pattern's not important. And, um, well, you know, also, um, Susano, or Susano, I guess, would be um, a more accurate pronunciation, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know Japanese. Um, but, well, he was the god of storms in Shinto, and, well, he, he wasn't Susano in this game. He wasn't very well liked by the other members of this family. I believe he was Ami's and he was Ami's brother. And the um well he was the son of Izanami and Izanagi. There's a lot of weird things in this game that don't really fit with the mythology. The worst of all is Tsukuyomi being a sword. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't know. So, yes. He is a guy. We're going to have to, sadly. Yeah, see, for these fights, if you're not feeling very secure, I highly recommend that you have, um, that yeah, maybe you pump up your health a bit. <laughs> but as for me, I am feeling fairly confident. I have three levels of godhood and a full astral pouch. And, I don't know, I think I can do this. Have I gotten another... No, I haven't. So let's just wait for him to attack again, you know. Oh, that thing, yeah, he takes a crap and it explodes. That's an actual thing that happens. Okay, get away from the exploding, exploding poo. I said get away from the exploding... Okay, here, here he comes, doing a more traditional attack, where he becomes completely invincible. He does a combo of five. And we caught him vulnerable. That was a bad one. Yeah, I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Let's level this out first, because, yeah, this is a really awkward place out of that sense of art. It's not excuse- Ah, okay, okay. Oh, great. I Hang on, you gonna charge right into it? Oh, it didn't even stop him. I heard that hint. Wherever I learned that hint from, you lied to me. Okay, he will also dig holes, which is a generally. I'm stuck in a hole, but look at all these animation there. It's hilarious. Just, just seriously, go back and watch that again. Okay, I really should be using the um. Wow, this is the worst combo in history. Okay, come on, get over here. 
Oh hey, I've lost the level of God. Look at that. Okay, level this out. Angle the camera up. I find it easier to aim cherry bombs doing that. Huh, this is actually going a bit faster than I thought it would. But seriously, why the poo? Why is this necessary? Well, why are exploding crap necessary here? I don't like them. Yeah, just tradition, I suppose, to do that. And this video is 20 minutes long. I didn't expect it to be this long, actually. Okay, yeah, I still did terribly on time. Honestly, I did not expect anything. Hmm. <laughs> so. Hmm. All right. Go kill the demon threatening to kill the everything. The everything, yeah. And graphical bugs on that. Yeah, you may have noticed. I think I've already pointed out by now that the Wii version of this game is very buggy. Or graphically, anyway. <laughs> the bugs that don't exist in the PlayStation 2 version. So. Honestly, I don't care much. We've already fed Ume too, so. Nothing to go, you know, nothing to worry about that. Even though, well, we didn't, um. You know, do things. Eh. <sighs> Anyway, yeah, it's been more than long enough, so until next time, this has been the Indigo Serum. We are done here. See you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>